Okay, so I'm going to show you how to create a masking layer, which you can then use to, to animate a reveal of a character, or you could use it to do a, a segue between scenes, anything like that. So I'll just draw something in a color that we can see. And give it a bit of a background so we can see everything. In fact, I'll put the background on another layer. Cut, edit, paste in place so it's in the same position. And I'll use a paint bucket to fill that, put it underneath. Get a new color. and fill in the other drawing. Brush paint behind. Just so we've got something to work with. Okay, so, what we can then do is create a new layer again on that layer, right click and say mask. Now I'm just going to create a very simple one to begin with and then we'll move into more complex ones. They're both locked to begin with so you just unlock them. You can draw in any color on this shape because it really doesn't matter and I'm actually just going to start with rectangle. Get rid of that just going to draw a rectangle there, come forward a bunch of frames and add frames to both of those layers. Five. To all three of those layers, sorry. And then on the new one, add a blank keyframe to the masking layer and make that wider. Come back to the start of that and turn that into a shape tween. Lock both of those layers, and you'll see that swipe across to reveal that character. So you can customize that in any which way. Let's say, put that there. Lock both. It does a reveal. So, works its best when it's animated obviously. So that can work quite well as a segue between scenes or something like that. You've got one shot in the background, one shot in the foreground, and you have your segue between the two scenes. Uh, there's a couple of files that I've done other things with. Let's I'll get both of those fills and take them away. Put them on their own layer outside of Mask. Shift. Sorry. Edit. Paste in place. So now, this fill is outside of the mask. What will happen is you can always see that, but the outlines will come. So, what I'm going to do is clear those ones off and add a keyframe and I'm going to slowly reveal this line all the way around the object so I'm going to choose a bright color because you won't see the color because it's it's the mask all the color is is what reveals the object now I'm just going to add a keyframe add a bit more to it and just keep adding keyframes so select Add a keyframe, select, add a keyframe. It might make it seem like it's accelerating around the object. Make sure you encompass the whole thing. So the advantage of this is you can be really messy about it. It's a much easier way to animate something being drawn than to actually gradually draw it. 
is you have it drawn on the other layer underneath and then you just reveal it bit by bit and that line's done maybe add another frame two frames away from that and start the next line and we'll see what this looks like so on all the way around let's just pretend that it's gone at the speed of light I'm actually losing all the other frames so I'll just add some more there bear with me I'm almost there the ghost if I go here but I can just pull the onion skin out to reveal it and I'll just use three frames to add the nose now add frames to the other two layers lock them both and now you get this slow reveal that looks really neat even though it was a very messy little piece of animation Another thing you could do is turn this into a symbol. I'm not going to give it a name, it doesn't really matter. And I'm going to tween it to reveal itself. So I'm going to go to select the symbol and then give the symbol a look. So I'm going to change the alpha or the transparency to zero. The alpha level is the amount of transparency. Then I'm going to go to the other end Add a keyframe to that, select it, and change the alpha to 100. Then I go in between those frames and tell it to be a motion tween. And it will slowly reveal as it draws. So we might want that to happen near the end. So I've done this on another piece this one here uh, it's the upstate I think or is it the it's the upstate there it is so you can see that mask running around there I'll lock both of those layers and you get this slow reveal so what you get in the actual movie is it revealing itself and then when you roll over it email it just adds a bit of interest to it without me having to do any real work which is fantastic okay so that's animating a mask